Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the rear drum brakes on a 2001 Toyota Corolla. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you need to do, obviously take off the hubcap, you just pull it off. Um, then you need to loosen all four of these. Um, I already have with a breaker bar. Uh, it uses either a 21 millimeter or a 13 16 an American. So go ahead and loosen that. And then from there, you'll need to uh, jack it up. So I use that little nub right there to jack it up, and then I put a jack stand just for safety. Um, so go ahead and do that, and then you'll need to take the wheel off next. So with the wheel off, you just pull it off once everything's all jacked up there. Hopefully you don't do what I did. So stock these rear drums that come with these two bolts here. There are two uh, spots here for you to put bolts in um, and basically you just tighten it you just tighten it like a fourth of the way um, tighten it a fourth of the way back and forth until it finally pops off that's the easiest way it comes off nice and easy I stripped one of these even though they're holding right now once I tighten them they're not gonna hold um, and so what I'm doing is I'm putting WD-40 here I'm gonna try and hammer it off um, I'll let you know how that goes so, you don't have to use these. You can use this lip. What I did was I took a claw, the claw part of the hammer here, and I just put it on the lip, and I pulled as hard as I could, and then rotated about an inch, pulled, rotated, pulled, rotated. You'll hear it start to pop. It sounds very scary. It sounds like something's happening with the car, like it might fall off the jack, but that's actually this popping through. What the real, whoopsie, easy. What the real issue here is, is that you can see, if I can get it to focus. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. Maybe I'm too close. Okay, there we go, sorry about that you can see there's actually a lip here. And that's what this is trying to get past here. And here it's so tight, it's trying to get past that lip. And that's what you're pulling it past. So I spent probably a good half an hour, 45 minutes taking the stupid thing. I was taking a hammer to it, trying to hammer it from behind. It wasn't working. Um, that's the only thing that worked was using, using the claw part of the hammer here and just pulling on that lip. And then rotating an inch, pulling, rotating an inch, pulling and you really gotta put some back muscle into it. So, now with this off, I'm gonna give you a real quick look. You can see I don't have a lot of meat on my brake. Um, I could still let it go, but I feel like the brakes aren't very strong. I don't feel like I have a lot of stopping power, so I, I wanted to replace these. Um, so, I'm gonna give you kind of a quick look of here's, this is the rear passenger, obviously the rear because it's a drum give you a quick look of what everything looks like here so that when you're doing this and myself this is a really good reference for what it looked like before you tore it all apart all right so I can't recommend this enough you need one of these tools it's like ten dollars at an auto parts store it hooks on here it grabs these um, it may be easy to get these off but they are a nightmare to get back on sometimes so I can't recommend it enough get one of these hooks so um, once you have everything off basically that's the first thing you do is you get these it's hard to do with one hand since I'm using the camera but um, get this hook off here and then you'll also need to you can kind of see these basically you hold it the back here there's a little you can see the pin um, and you push this in and you rotate it uh, 90 degrees there and it'll pop right out this comes out and you can pull uh, this little rod out from the back and um, you'll be able to do that so get that off on each side so get this spring off here get this off on both sides and then you can undo on this side there's a spring there that you need to undo and then on the bottom there's a little spring it'll probably come off pretty easy once you have everything else off the spring one you can just do by hand because the uh, the brake shoes will come right off so go ahead and get all that done next so with all those off, the right comes right off. Like I said, you can just do that little spring by hand at the bottom. 
I forgot there is a little pin here. So you just take a flat head and just separate it here. Pop it off, uh, obviously don't lose it. And then this pulls through here and you'll be able to pull that left brake shoe off. So uh, be careful, it takes a little bit of work to get this little pin off. Um, be careful, don't lose it or the washer that, that was behind it. Um, you just kind of got to work it with a flathead screwdriver. Um, now you compare your old brake pad to your new, my old one on the right, my new on the left. Now I'm going to be honest, there is not a lot of meat that is off of the old one compared to the new one. The new one really doesn't have a lot more. Um, the main reason that I'm even going through with this is because brake pads aren't that expensive as well as you can kind of see it hasn't worn properly. You can see kind of right all through here is where it's wearing really nothing here. Um, even though there isn't a lot off there, it was already a giant hassle to get in here because um, I wanted to check to see because my brakes weren't uh, working super well. I felt like they were slipping a little more than normal and so I wanted to check, check all my brake pads. My fronts obviously needed it. So I wanted to check the rears. Um, I already got in here. They're not that expensive. I might as well just replace them while I'm in here. Um, so just make sure that everything checks out here and um, so then next you're going to go ahead and put them back on. I'll show you a little trick. One of the main things is that this piece here, you can see it has these little spikes. Essentially you need to shorten this a little bit and every time that you push on the brakes there's a little lever here that twists this and extends, extends this whole apparatus um, so that the brake pads push out. And so you can shorten it. I don't my new pads are not much smaller. Um, so this really doesn't need to be shortened much. If there's a giant difference between the two, you might want to shorten it a little more. Um, and then every time that you press on it, it'll extend, press on the brakes, it'll extend until they're where they need to be. So go ahead and shorten this before you put everything back together. So here's the final look, put everything back in. Just a quick view for you again on where everything goes. Don't forget that little spring there. That, and then the spring up here. So anyways, that is how you replace the drum brakes on a 2001 Toyota Corolla. So hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching.